in all in different ways. You know, your mum is is kind of somebody who's, who's there from the very start, and she's always at the end of the phone. We we kind of speak every uh, we speak two or three maybe a couple of times a week. Um, she's uh, she's old, obviously older than me, but she's not vastly older than me, so she's quite a young mum. So we've always been quite friendly, you know, quite quite pally as, as much as a, as a mum and son are. Um, obviously, my wife is. Yeah, she's the light of my life, as you would imagine. Um, you know, she's she's great, and she's 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 different. She's not massively into sport, or not massively into rugby. So when I go home, it's not you don't feel like you're being bombarded with um, with work questions and and stuff about you know what have you been doing in training. And she's obviously inquisitive. She comes to all the games, but it's you don't kind of feel like it's you're under the microscope here. And then you suddenly go home and you've got the same thing. Um, my oldest girl, I mean, she's at university now. She, makes me immensely proud um, she's doing she's studying law um, she's incredibly driven and I think it's good actually to see somebody outside of this environment who you know she's clearly talented academically um, which I should probably get embarrassed me saying that but she combines that with a level of application and, and work ethic which um, you know, I think a lot of people you know, could learn from in that regard. So you're mentally aspiring like that. And my little one, I mean, you know, bless her, she's only seven, so <laughs> she's still got a big life pathway ahead of her. So, but you know, they're they're, they're all they're all great women and girls in their own way. And yeah, it's, um, we've got quite a tight knit family. So, it's, um, yeah, it's good good to be part of that.